There's always something to do back here. There's always a weed to pull or some dead leaves to remove. And when I thought about all these things, that thought about how grateful I am to be able to have this outdoor space and how much more connected to nature I am as a result of it, which was not originally my intention. My intention was I have a yard and I just need to fill it with stuff and I wanted to have some plants around. And the more you grow and then they duplicate and then you gotta find place for them and you know, it just really uh, calms you down and makes me forget about the troubles of the world even just for a moment. I don't have any kind of um, education in landscaping or plants. I decided I would just learn as I went along and see if I could figure out what they want more sun, do they want more water. Creation and destruction, creation and death, you know, birth and life. It's right here, right here. This is, this is life right here and this is death. This is what happens, you know, the flower comes and it dies and it goes away like it was never here. This garden to me is, it is, you know, uh, telling you this is what life is. We have a plant that is broken off and I'm just going to stick it in the ground and it's going to grow just like that. Put that in the ground, keep it watered, get the sunlight, and there we go, new life. But I wanted to uh, create just a, a vibe, you know. I wanted, I wanted to create good vibes. I wanted to, you know, have a have a getaway uh, without having to drive anywhere, without having to, you know, go through that whole camping experience, which is a lot of work. There is something so primal about cooking outside over an open fire like this, you know little mahi on the grill. There are definitely some perks to living in the city, but most of us, well, many of us who live in the city long for, you know, a strong connection with nature. And sometimes that means traveling for hours to get to the desert or a mountain. We are so removed from nature, so removed from the nature of humanity that you know this offers me a little glimpse into that it offers me the opportunity to disconnect from the grind of the everyday and reconnect with that <laughs> so cold <laughs> the earth and the sun everything that that makes things grow that makes things beautiful and you can get lost you can just get lost in your own imagination out here I, wanna, I always wanted to have a place like this and be able to share it with other people and I have and I have and I continue to uh, share it with other people I believe that humans are way out of balance with nature they're disconnected from themselves and Sometimes the best way to get back to yourself is to look broader and more expansively than yourself and then your own life. You know, look more, look at the world in a different way. Look at the world in a unfettered natural way. And where, where survival is important, ritual is important, relationships are important with other people, learning traditions and things like that and this is my way of trying to reconnect with that for um, you know whatever whatever time I have left on the earth